for the next bout. The judges are Chung Young Su, Kim Morita, and Ovi Overson. The attending physicians at ringside, Dr. Donald Romeo and Dr. Flip Omansky. The timekeeper is Jane Broadfoot, counting in the knockdowns, Charlie Roth, and the referee from Puerto Rico is Tony Perez. This is the main event of the evening. 15 rounds of boxing for the undisputed middleweight championship of the world. Introducing in the blue corner, fighting out of Freire, the Argentine, ranked number one by the WBA, weighing in at 159 and one quarter pounds. He has a professional record of 50 wins, two defeats, two draws, and 34 KOs. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing one, Domingo Roldan. And in the red corner, the champion, fighting out of Brockton, Massachusetts, weighing 159 and one quarter pounds. His professional record consists of 58 wins, two defeats, two draws, with 48 knockouts. Ladies and gentlemen, the undisputed middleweight champion of the world, marvelous Marvin Hagler. In the restroom, the intrusion in the restroom. Alguna pregunta? Any questions? He claims that the protector is a little too high. Let me check that. Okay, that's it. Right here. See the button here? No problem. Any questions? All right, shake hands. Good luck to both of you. Come on. All right. 15 rounds of boxing. So we're ready to go. 15 rounds of boxing, and I think the key words that come after that are or less. And there's no question about it that Juan Domingo Roldan is going to come after Marvin Hayes. Uh, to what degree of success remains to be seen. He's strong, we know that. And there's a flash right hand. It is a knockdown. First time Marvin Hayes has ever been knocked off his feet. He's not happy about it. Probably didn't because there was a clean punch. It seemed more like a push and had to just have to be off balance. I think that's exactly right. Now Marvin Hayes is going to have to contain his anger here. That is the key for Hagler, to keep his composure, to keep cool, to not let this guy style frustrate him. Hagler going downstairs. That's the first time Hagler has been down either as an amateur or a professional. For Marvin, bro, he has to box this guy, take his time, but be very, very careful of this guy's punches because his punches, no damn punches come from all angles, and he has the perfect style for a softball like Marvin Hagler. And a lot of times the uh, southpaw can't get out of the way of it. Marvin Hagler, a very smart fighter in the ring. And he may take some time to find his opponent. That's a good shoot right hand by Hagler. Marvin also must be very careful not to let that cut reopen that was done by Roberto Duran. Because that could uh, create a factor in this fight. So Roldan, as we expected, forcing the action. A flash knocked out right seconds into the first round. So it's really more a case of Marvin Hagler being in the wrong place at the wrong time than it was a damaging punch. That right hand did get in by Roldan. It's a good round for him. I started to say, despite the fact that Hagler has an impressive knockout record, he's not a guy who's going to want to get in there and bang with him. It's another good punch by Roldan. get to this guy using that right jab. Well, Dan, 
definitely telegraphs his punches. You know when they're coming, but they still come. That's what's going to cost them, though. I think that Rodan's going to keep reaching for Hagler, and Hagler's going to count for if it's a slip or, or just what it was. Well, as you see, it was a kind of a push and a pull. He landed the punch high on Hagler's head and pulled him down. Hagler is a little off balance here. Hagler usually likes to take his time to size up his opponent in the first couple of rounds, and Rodin isn't giving him the time. Repeat, try to repeat the round. Do exactly the same thing. Easy. Take it very easy and repeat the round. Do the same thing. You notice that Roldan stood up during that rest period. That's been his pattern in the past. You heard the voice of Tito Alba, who is giving us a simultaneous interpretation of the conversation in Juan Roldan's corner. Hagler can be on the pace here. Tito Alba interpreting for Tito Lecture and the rest of the corner people for Juan Domingo Roldan. So we will have that. It's definitely a bad image. There's a right hand got in. Ray, I would have to think that was no way a knockout. Well, it was evident because of the replay. Chris Lane had a back head of Hagler, and it was more of a, a cool, cool down there. Yeah. Heavy handed punches here for Juan Domingo Rodin, and he is exactly as advertised. He's a little bit wild and a little bit out of control, but he can hit. Change punch for punch with Juan Rodin because Juan Rodin has the heavier punch and the stronger punch. Hagler needs to do a little lateral movement, make this guy reach, make this guy telegraph his punches, and then correct him up. Inside, he's more Hagler's more susceptible to be hit by one of those wild punches, like that uppercut there. Rodin is really throwing more kinds of punches in his fight than I've seen him throw before. And another thing, where he's able to throw those type of punches for at least a good 10 rounds. Hagler came back with about three punches in a row, but he took a chopping right hand, and I think Hagler got the worst of it. That's another good right hand. Rodin going to that right hand lead. You know, Rodin has been throwing punches, but let's see the reaction when he gets hit, hit by one of Hagler's guys. Or a couple of them. And he leaves himself wide open to a very short punch, which of course is the most dangerous kind.
A good sort of right hook half jab by Hackett, but he's been a little bit befuddled, and I think that when he went back to his corner, he looked at his the Petronelli brothers a little bit quizzically as if to say, hey, what's going on here? This is not quite what I expected. He banged himself in the head a couple of times. Hackett comes out very busily to start the third round. Mancho, Mancho. certain punches that are written on the book.